Hello again, welcome back everyone. This is Aiden, your NGT instructor and mentor. And today we are going to cover a few more lessons in the Over the Wire series, the Bandit series that is. And we are going to go over a couple functions like find, finding by group, finding by user ownership. And also we're gonna dig in more usages of grip. So hopefully in this 10 minute lesson, you will learn quite a few things about the Linux environment and how to be more effective in it. All right, I'll see you guys in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the lessons on Over the Wire. Uh, in these lessons, we are going to take off from where we left off last time. And I do believe we started off at level five or we stopped at level five. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the lessons. OK, I have my notepad here with my passwords to uh, Over the Wire. So let's go ahead and get connected. Uh, OK. So let's go ahead SSH bandit 05 or bandit 5 is where we want to go to at bandit.labs.overtowire.org. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab that and control shift V, pop that in there. The port we are connecting to is 2220. And let's get this show on the road. And here we are being asked for our credentials. And obviously this is it, bandit 05. All right, let's go ahead and control shift V that. Press enter and get going. All right, let's see what the hints are for levels five through six. In this particular instance, they are asking us the password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has all the following properties. Human readable, 1033 bytes in size and not executable. All right, well, fantastic. We can basically uh, take a look here and see what's going on. If I go LS, looks like there is a directory. Go LSLA. Uh, we know this is directory because it is blue and plus also there is a D right there denoting that there is this is actually a directory. So let's go at CD in here and well, we could do a couple of things. We can do LS, LAR, LAR, and then we can pass us on over to grep. Most of you, you guys know what the, the grep command does. And I can grep for something that looks like 1033 as stated over here. And it looks like we did find a file that is file two, uh, but doesn't really give us much uh, much other information. Uh, hey, there's a file two in one of these directories in here, and that this is a little bit of a slog to uh, process the file. So that's why we have another command that we use, and that is going to be find. Now, the way how we use find is basically we find uh, the, the area we're gonna be looking at or the directory. In this case, it's going to be a relative directory. If I do this, it's going to find everything that's in here and recursively looks into every other folder that's in here. If I do find that or find forward slash, it looks at the root uh, drive hierarchy and looks for all files within the system. Uh, that is going to be wasteful. So we are going to only look in here because we know that the, they said that the file is an in here directory. In this case, we can basically just say size Type in size, and we can say, hey, you know what? We're looking for a file that's 1033C. Uh, that is 1033 uh, bytes in size, and we find that there is a file 2 in here. Now, we can also, yeah, it looks like there's only one option uh, or only one candidate for the file, but we were given a couple of the clues. So we can just say, hey, you know what? Not executable. Uh, not executable, and basically we find the same information. Maybe here's seven. Uh, and for those of you guys that are kind of cu more curious about this, we can basically just say, hey, you know what? We can just find, exclude the size, and say, hey, you know what? We're looking for any files that are, are executable. And you can see that here are a bunch of files that are executable within this directory. But let's see if we can filter for size. 1033C, oops, looks like there is not any 1033 size files. Let's just go ahead and say, well, they're just, let's go look at this. Let's go look at this file right here and let's go verify if it is actually executable or not. LSLA, it's file over here. And what do you know? The X is activated, so it is an executable file. Uh, but let's go ahead and just get this flag right away. One more in here. Up, up, up. Don't need that executable flag. Let's just go look for the 1033C. And here we go. Let's go ahead and read this file and see what exactly it contains. Cat, location of the file. Ooh, 
uh, not sure what happened there. Uh, but looks like there we have our password. Looks like we did find it. All right. So bandit six bandit six is going to be this right here. All right. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and just keep the ball rolling here. Let's exit out of here, clear this out, and let's go on to the next challenge. All right, on to level six, and let this get uh, connected like as usual. So bandit, or actually SSH, bandit six is what we're looking for at. Copy and paste the domain over here. Fantastic, copy that. Control shift V, there you go, P dash P2220, and let's just get this show on the road, All right? Six password right there. Um, let's. I probably did not enter it correctly. Oh, I did. Fantastic. And you know what? While we're at it, let's just go ahead and type in a little placeholder for Bandit Seven right there, because I know that we are going to get this. So I am not even freaking out. All right. So let's see here. Bandit Six is what we're looking for. And in this one, the password for the next level is stored somewhere on the server, and it has all the following properties. Owned by user Bandit7, owned by group Bandit6, and its size is 33 bytes in size. All right, so let's go ahead and get that going here. Now, in contrast with the last level where we did find dot or relative uh, to where we are in the working directories, we are going to find forward slash because we are going to be looking server-wide in this case. Now, in this case, we are going to look for size, and that's going to be 33 bytes uh, 33C is what we're looking for. Uh, C is just plain old bytes. Okay. And then user is going to be, well, user is going to be bandit seven. Seven and group is going to be, not group boo, group is going to be bandit six. And let's see what we are found here or what we find here. Wow. There is a lot of there is a lot of provision denied here. And this is a reason why sometimes we got to look things through uh with a magnifying glass uh here we go and i see a bunch of permission denied over here however there is a entry over here that does not have a permission denied associated with it and we can just copy that selection over here and let's go ahead and cat this and what do we have oh it looks like we do have a password of some sort and let's just call that good and let's go ahead and call that Control shift b or control V right there. And that is the password for bandit seven. All right. Well, fantastic. <laughs> Sounds like we are do we are making for good uh, business. Uh, we are making for good time here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right into the next one. Uh, let's go ahead, exit out, clear out, and let's go ahead and just jump into level seven. Okay, level seven it is. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. As I say, bandit seven at. Okay, there we go. Copy that. Control shift V. E two 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 zero, and let's get that back into the clipboard here. Bandit seven. Copy this. Control shift V. Press enter, and let's see what exactly, what exactly the goal is. The password for next level is stored in. File data text next to the word a million. Okay, and let's go ahead and take a look what's in our directory. Let's see what they got. We have data. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so again, we have data over here. We just type in file data txt. And what do you know? They weren't lying to us. This is data txt in Unicode, Unicode UTF text, or uh, basically the encoding format. And let's go ahead and cat this data txt. And oh my goodness, that is a lot of data let's quantify how many lines there is that okay basically what we're doing is we're passing the cat command or basically we're passing the cat command over to another command called wc l and looks like we have ninety-eight thousand five hundred sixty-seven lines and that is a lot of lines all right so we're not going to be able to just visually scrub through this uh, but it does give us a little bit of a a little bit of a hint over here that says the password for the next level is stored in the in the file data txt next to the word millionth. So essentially, this makes this a rather easy uh, a rather easy task because all we really need to do is this pass the data into grep this into uh, grep this into uh, basically anything that contains million. 
So what we're going to do here is basically cat the data and then use the grep and it will report to us anything or any line that has millionth right next to it. And what we got to do here, and wow, what do you know right there? That is a password to password, well, level seven. So let's go ahead and pop that in there because technically speaking, this is going to be bandit eight, control B that in there. And it looks like we are good to go. All right, uh, great. Looks like we just did three levels today. That's about our 10 minute limit that I set for myself for these series. And we did learn quite a few things today, mostly about the find command. And that is looking for files server-wide or in a relative directory that we are in. We learned how to search for files through file sizes, through groups and through ownership uh, using the dash group dash user commands and also using well the dash size command uh, as well we learned how to use grep and to find a particular line or something containing a particular line within a document that had a hundred thousand lines well to round up and that is today's lesson in these levels of over the wire i'll see you guys next time where we learn a whole lot more about linux and all the linux magic that comes along with it i'll see you guys next time bye Jacob S. here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, then be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.